Hello everybody, my name is Joe and in this video I will be showing you a microphone comparison between the Behringer B5 and the Deity D4 Mini. Now normally I would not place these microphones in front of me as they are right now but for the sake of the video so that you can see which are the microphones that I am using then I have left them in frame. Normally they would be situated just above my forehead right here pointing downwards to my chest and as with any microphone, the closer that they are to your mouth, the better that, we, that they will sound. So, as you have already noticed as the video progresses, I will be switching the sound between the Behringer B5 and the Deity D4 Mini. And you will be able to be seeing right here the name of the microphone that is being listened to at any given moment. Now, key differences between these microphones are that uh, the Deity D4 Mini... The Deity D4 Mini has a 3.5 millimeter plug, which goes into your camera, your smartphone, or your computer, depending on the method that you want to connect it. It is a very versatile microphone because uh, it is meant to be used in mobile applications. On the other hand, the Behringer B5 is an XLR microphone, as you can see, and it does require 48 volts of phantom power. Now, that is not to say that the Deity does not require power, however, the usual applications of this microphone does provide enough power that it needs to work. This is called plug-in power and it usually goes for about 5 volts, which normally smartphones, cameras and other devices which accept this type of microphone already supply it so you don't even have to think about it. So I got both microphones connected into a Behringer X1204 USB mixer. The reason that I connected into the mixer is so that I can have a more fair comparison between the two. Right now, none of the microphones have any sort of processing, any sort of equalization, and there is some ambient noise in the room, so if you're listening with headphones, you might pick up on the sound of the fan and general ambient noise. I am in a treated, sound treated uh, studio, however, my USB, uh, my USB, my AC is not working right now, so I am relying on fans because it is kind of hot in here. So you can keep that in mind. One of the microphones might be better at rejecting the noise of the fan than the other. Now the Behringer has uh, some a switch, has one switch that gives you the option to have it neutral, to have a, a high pass filter engaged or to have a minus 10 dB pad, which I almost never use, or, well, I never use, because I actually tend to lift the gain up. I digress. The high-pass filter is engaged right now, and that helps with uh, eliminating some of the lower-end noises, like grumbling, or sometimes motors, or hopefully the air conditioner, well, not the air conditioner right now, the, the fan noise. The DD, on the other hand, is uh, tends to be a little bit more directional, which also helps in removing the, or rejecting rather, the ambient noises. The Behringer currently has a cardioid capsule, which also should be a little bit more directional. However, it is a lot more sensitive than the Deity in regards to how much ambient noise it picks up. The, De the Behringer also includes an extra capsule, which is an omnidirectional capsule, which is a lot more sensitive. And depending on the applications that you may have, if you are in a very sound treated room with absolutely no noise and you want to better pick up singing voice or other more detailed sounds, then that uh, omnidirectional capsule, capsule should work even better. Now, I bought both of these microphones for exactly this, to make YouTube videos or Amazon video reviews, and they have both served me very well. The difference being that when I... I am in a more noisy environment, then I tend to use or favor the Deity because of its uh, better ability to reject the ambient noise because it is less sensitive than the Behringer. Whenever my AC is working and I don't have any outside noise, then I prefer to use the Behringer because I feel like it has a more richer voice. So now I'm going to switch into the personal equalization that I apply to each microphone using my Behringer X1204 mixer. So I'm going to switch into that sound now. So now you are listening to the sound of both microphones. Again, I will be switching back and forth between the Behringer B5 and the DDD4 Mini, but this time I have applied the equalization using the USB mixer. So all the sound processing right now is hardware, nothing is processed in the software department. All right. So I have a picture here of the equalization that I apply to each microphone. 
and uh, basically on the Behringer what I did was I reduced the highs a little bit I slightly increased the mids and I more than slightly increased the bass on the DED side I decreased the highs I I decreased the highs <laughs> I slightly decreased the mids and I not so slightly increased the the bass response in both instances I applied uh, let's say one two three I would say a four to one compression it is also hardware compression which by the way again my Behringer mixer allows me to do all that through hardware processing and not through software so do you think it sounds better with the processing or does it sound better natural as it was right out of the box let me know in the comments and so I hope this comparison was helpful for you to make a decision and I hope to see you in the next one